Hi, I'm James Parker from jamesparkergolf.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set the club early in your takeaway so that you've got the right club face position during your backswing. A really good exercise for you is to set up to it and get a club, a shaft or a stick or a rod or something like that and get it in between your left heel and your right toe and what you want to try and do during your takeaway and also when you're practicing make sure you're hovering the club if you're hovering the club you can really feel the weight of the club in your hands it's going to be easier to make the position and feel the club and the weight of the club head in your swing and what I want you to do is I just want you to focus on hinging the shaft hinging the club in your fingers okay and if you do it correctly just hinge your wrist and then you can see how in this position the shaft and the leading edge are both over this rod. Once you get that position, that means that your club face is square. From here, you can throw the club head up, okay, and we want to try and get this 90 degree position a lot easy a lot earlier than what most of you do. Most of us Certainly when I was growing up, we're taught, well, make sure that by the time your left arm's parallel with the ground, you've got this 90 degree angle. Well, I like to see people achieve this angle earlier. So the hands are lower, club head's higher. Okay, so really in the takeaway, it's really, a, 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 we're throwing this club head up. I don't like to see too much drag because with too much drag it promotes a lateral movement away from the target. We're going to load up on this side, we're going to roll, we're going to have some lateral movement. So a little bit more weight in the left leg, hinge the club, start the movement with the club head. All right, the club head moves the furthest in the swing. It's got a much wider arc, a much larger circle than our hands and our body rotation. So this is the thing which should be moving first because it moves the furthest. All right, so we do that by this little hinging in our wrist. Set the shaft and the, and the leading edge over this rod, and if that's square, you see that's closed, that's square, that's open. Once it's square, then you can just carry on hinging up. Achieve this position, and this is a two-step backswing. We want to try and get this position with our hands lower, club head higher, and then once you're in this position, you're hinged fully, then it's just letting the pivot ride all the way to the top, okay? Just allow your body to turn. Right hip moves back behind you as your right leg straightens a little bit, and your left leg flexes. And then once you get to the top here, allow the club head, the weight of the club head, to feel as though it's dropping, right? Too many of you throw the club head as, a, as we start the downswing. So imagine there's a weight on the club head, the club head weighs a ton, and when you start the downswing from the ground up, as we post into our left leg, the weight of the club head's gonna resist the change of direction, okay? And we wanna try and feel that. So that produces the lag, that produces a shallower sort of angle coming down. And as long as we've got 80% of the weight on our left leg at impact, and the back of our left hand He's facing the targeted impact, which produces a bent right hand, we'll be good to go. If you find what I'm talking about interesting, please come and visit me at jamesparkergolf.com. And also, if you have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave them below, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Cheers. I have people that come in and they drag their hands too much, so the hands move too much inside, and that gets the club face very shut. I have people that kind of flick the club and that's all just basically losing their connection underneath their left arm and the club face flips. I'm James Parker from jamesparkergolf.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to get the club face in the right position during the paper. Hi, I'm James Parker from jamesparkergolf.com and in this video I'm going to teach you how to set the club early in the takeaway so that you've got the right club face position during your backswing. <laughs>